Now, hello and welcome to this overview of the sake making process. To begin, it's assumed that the technically specific process of rice milling has been accomplished. However, it is important to remember that there are inherent but in intricacies and reasons for the milling process, the degree of material removed each time, and for each particular type of sake made. The rice begins with processing by washing and soaking. This is then steamed. This achieves an even moisture content across the rice grain. The rice is directed either into the koji or brewing process from this stage. The koji process begins with the rice being cooled, mixed and stirred. The spores of the Aspergillus oryzii are spread over it in successive stages of inoculation. These spores produce enzymes that break down the starch and proteins of the rice grains. The koji is required to proceed to the next stage. This is known as the moto. This is where brewing truly begins. The koji enzymes break down the rice. The newly added yeast converts this to CO2 and ethanol. Over the rest of the four days, more koji and rice and water are added to this mix. This leads to a high conversion of sugar to ethanol. In a manner of speaking, the low sugar concentration is a direct result of the low efficiency of the enzymes in the koji, and the enzymes cannot keep up with the yeast demand for sugar. This results in a relatively slow brewing process. After this, the sake is pressed. This removes most of the solids from the sake mix. This is then filtered and pasteurized. It is then left to age over time. This also helps to improve its flavor. This creates sake. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions you may have below.